Welcome to Hoffman Estates High School. This is the HETV Game of the Week. I'm Jeremiah Wright. Today's matchup, we have the Hoffman Estates Hawks taking on the Vikings from Fremd High School. The Hawks come into today's game with a 3-10 record and a 1-2 record in the MSL. The Vikings come in with a 10-6 overall record, 3-2 in the conference. Like I mentioned before, the Hawks come in with a losing record, but last week we covered the game against the Rolling Meadows Mustangs, the first place team in the MSL. It was a very good game, but the Hawks came up just a bit short. Today they have their work cut out for them with the Vikings. So stay tuned to see what happens. That's why we play the game. So two outs, man still in scoring position, brings up Keegan Mugerdichen. High and outside for ball one. Swing and a miss. Evens the count, one and one. Time was called prior to that pitch. Swing and a miss. One and two. Pop, Pop up in up. the infield, just behind to the right side of the mound, and caught by the first baseman to retire the side. So going into the top of the seventh, one man left on, no runs, and the Hawks keeping that three-point lead, three-run lead. Okay, top of the seventh, Ethan Bloom trying to close it out for the complete game victory. Leads by three. Number 23, Matt Isola stepping into the batter's box. Ground ball to, oh, just between shortstop and third. Lead off base hit for the Vikings. So Vikings seeing if they can get those three runs back. Lead off single. That brings up Andrew Stark, the Vikings designated hitter. He reached in the first on a walk. And there's a fly ball to shallow center. Looks like trouble, but easy play made by the center fielder to retire the first out. Center fielder Zach home one and quickly to get under that ball to squeeze it for the out. One out, one on. Hawks just two outs away from receiving their second conference win of the year. Strike down the middle. Swing, Swing. a little chip to second base for an easy out. Trevor Pye over to squeeze that soft liner. Two down. So the Hawk Bats have woken up this game. They've been hitting and walking and playing solid defense here behind Ethan Bloom. Very solid defense behind Bloom. He has just one strikeout, so he's needed it. Strike at the knees. Curve ball into the dirt. Yeah. 
Sam Boitler waiting on the on deck circle, hoping he can get his chance to bat. And he Chopper. hits the slow dribbler to third. third oh, baseman, and he will get a chance to, to bat, Sam Boitler. Actually, that was Sam Boitler. Third baseman Chris Eisel tried to barehand it, wasn't able to do it. So an infield hit puts men up first and second. And it looks like we'll Come have out. a pitching change here with two outs in the seventh inning. All we need is a one out, one out, and we'll get the win. This pitch is high for a ball. Swing and a pop foul down the third base line, or first base line, out of play. Keegan <laughs> Mugger Dixon thinking he might have a play, but. Nothing doing. Count is at one and one. Umpire saying that ball just hit him on the elbow. Often a state's coach out saying, wait a minute, that was one and one. So that loads the bases here with two outs. Marcus Middlebrook on stepping into the batter's box. Runners on the corners, or runners on every bag. Middlebrook struck out looking his last plate appearance. Looking to make up for it here. Base is juiced. Strike he down the middle. Ooh, a line drive. That's trouble down, down the, the right field line. line. That drops in. And two runs are in on that two run double by Marcus Middlebrooks for the Vikings. That tightens a score to 5-4. The Hawks clinging to a one-run lead. John Escobar stepping to the plate with men on second and third. High ball one. So what has Mr. Escobar done today? Mr. Escobar has flown out to right in the sixth, flew out to Chopper. right in the fourth, but got a sacrifice RBI and flew out to left. So he's Chop putting the ball in play all day. Chop that one foul outside the third baseline. Evens the count at one and one. There's a grounder to Bloom, the third baseman. He throws the first. And helps himself get the victory for the Hawks. Poetic justice that Ethan Bloom's there at third base to squeeze that ground ball for the final out. That was a nerve wracking game, I'm sure, for the Hawks. Ethan Bloom did all he could to help his Hawks secure the victory. So Hoffman Estates with just enough offense to keep the win, 5-4. So they improved to 2-2 two and two in the MSL. Jimmy Ward comes in to allow a two-out, two-run double, but still manages to get the one out he needed for the save. Coach says, I'll take it, but try not to make it so close next time. So for all of us here at the HETV Game of the Week, Bruce Anderson saying, hope you enjoyed the game. It was a good one. Tune in again next week when the game will be Schomburg versus Elk Grove.